Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Adobe Substance 3D Stager. Now, I do know a lot of people have a couple of conversation about this one, but these two right here does come with a couple of features as opposed to what you could get with Dimension. So we already talked about the fact that Dimension and these two, they are sort of the same thing, but of course there is some updates to this one, which I would like you guys to take a look at. So once you simply open this and you go over to create new, you'll be welcome to the screen like this. Exactly what you get with Dimension is what you're going to be getting with this and you can tell that everything looks the same up until when you start doing your rendering right now there's a support for vulcan sort of rendering capability that happens with this one there is good support for gpus right now and of course there's something pretty cool that they actually teased sometime last year that is existing with the stager right now and we've already talked about the fact that if you're working with substance painter you can ship things from substance painter right over here do your lighting and your rendering but before we get into talking about some of those things let's take a look at the ui and then talk about that cool feature that i did mention earlier so first things first is right here this is where you get to see your assets all of the assets that you'll be working with exist here and you can also tell that they do have a couple of buttons that you can use to shuffle through them so if you would like to see just the models you can click on that button if you like to see only materials probably you want to see just lighting and the images you can actually toggle through all of this if you want to make sure that all these things are visible at a given point you can simply hold down control and click and they will all become visible right over here is where your tools exist right here is your scene and uh, your inspector everything exists there and right over here is where you get to see the properties and this is basically what you get with dimension but it becomes interesting when you simply bring out something as simple as a dresser and drop that right here and then you choose to bring uh something as simple as well as what we have here which is math so let's say we bring the math character and place it automatically you would notice that we have some sort of surface snapping going on so if we drop that right there you notice it drops there and we can go in and navigate within the viewport and start working with it and navigation within the viewport is as simple as holding down alt and your left mouse button to orbit alt and your right mouse button to zoom in and zoom out and alt and your middle mouse button to pan so the first things you, you notice is, uh, like I said earlier, once you select an object or you simply get an object in, it snaps within the surface. And this is very, very nice. But then you notice that there is a problem that every 3D software already has, which is the fact that despite the fact that you can do some surface snapping on other softwares, you can also push this thing through. And this is one of the things that they've actually found a way to fix. And I think two commercial softwares have also gone through to make this thing accessible to everyone. And I'm referring to Cinema 4D and Keyshot. So just in case, if you're thinking if there's another software that actually supports collision snapping between objects, these softwares actually do. But now it's very interesting to see that we now have some sort of collision based system that exists with this. Now, if you have an object selected, if you go over to your object property, you would notice that we have collision here, which we can turn on and we can also select the surface and then turn on collision but this isn't where this whole thing happens i mean if i pick this and pass it through it still passes through so how do you actually make collision work with uh, adobe substance 3d stager how you can make this happen is if you click on this button and hold if you go all the way down you would notice that we have snapping and then we have collision now if we turn on collision snapping automatically turns off so we can do that and now you can notice that that turns off so what can we achieve with this what we can achieve is interesting if i pick this object and try to pass it through you notice it doesn't pass through anymore and it actually becomes even more interesting if you get something like a, a set of pen so i'm just gonna go in and drop that there and make sure that i have collision turned on this one and i'm also gonna make a couple of copies so let's make a ctrl c ctrl v and uh, let's do some more ctrl c ctrl v that let's just make a couple more copies like so all right so with all these copies here let's select them select this one and we crunch it in and then crunch something like that you would notice that we're getting that collision happening now it actually becomes even more visible when you get to pass this through a particular surface that already has collision and you can notice how these things actually collide across as they move now for those that are into dressing stuff this might actually come in very handy as in several locations you might also want to get some effect like this so let's say you want to pass something like this and you get that you know sort of falling down and scatter effect happening with the tool as so so this is one of the cool things that you can get with this like i said earlier you now have opportunities to do some kind of crazy rendering with this and I don't know if this is definitely going to take Keyshot out of the market, but for the most part, yes, 
this comes in as some sort of free tool owing to the fact that it comes as a collection right now which you can get from adobe so if we also go over to ray tracing and crank this ray tracing up this is simply working with your gpu so if i go in and start up the task manager let's go over to performance and bring this right up you would notice that this is reading from the gpu so you can actually you know have fun working with this once you start rendering with your gpu but then there is also a very cool feature where you can now switch to cpu rendering so just in case you want to make the most out of your cpu you can click on this button right here turn off the gpu and automatically this will start working with your cpu you can assign the number of threads or cores that you like to work with so in this case i'm gonna just crank this one all the way to six and let's get that task manager one more time you can notice that it's making use of the cpu right now to do this rendering so there is also a couple of other updates that you can also get with this and these updates are things that existed with dimension and some of them include things like environment matching so just in case you are into stuff like that you would also find this one very useful and you can work with it now if you're also thinking about importing stuff you can also go ahead and import your own model so if you click on file go over to import you can choose to import your own 3d models your own backgrounds your lights and all that stuff and with that said actually let's take a look at the default scene that we have here so there's a very cool default scene that comes with this and you know for the for the most part the renderer is cool you know it gets the job done but it's definitely going to take a while before these two actually takes a tool like a uh, key shot out of the market but for those that are into the ecosystem you're thinking about cooler ways that you can render your substance painter works or maybe you like working with text you know customizable text then this is definitely something that can get you up to speed with and you can take advantage of this and start creating some beautiful stuff so this is more like it pretty cool tool very nice you can go ahead and grab it right now and you can jump on the trial right now you can actually tell that i've been trying this for a couple of days now the creative cloud desktop app is definitely needed for you test this one out but either ways it is a cool tool that i would definitely suggest that you try out if you're into rendering and actually compare it with any other tool that you're using and in this case keyshot mamoset blender and any other 3d app out there that you consider as a rendering tool but then if you go over to the release note you'd also notice that there is a couple of other updates that you may want to check out so very Already talked about the new rendering sort of system that exists so just in case you want to read more on that there's also a brand new material system that is available so just in case you're thinking about that adobe standard shader or the adobe standard material this is more like the standard shader that will be across the whole collection suit that you'll be getting there's also a new layout set of tools that you might want to work with we've just simply taken a look at some of them and like we mentioned there's a new image composition that has been powered by the adobe sensei to automatically generate camera lighting information and actually match your background to the objects which you have within your viewport there's also a brand new camera system that exists and all in all the folks at adobe are pushing for the substance ecosystem and so just in case you want to move things from substance painter to substance stager this is actually one of those ecosystem things that they're looking at doing and for the most part this is going to be extremely beneficial to those who are willing the substance or the adobe substance ecosystem so this is more like it for those who like to read more on this i'm going to put this link in the description where you can do well to check it out and for sure for those who like to download this i'm also going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you will be able to download the free trial test it for 30 days see how it works and then make your decisions Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.